Today, we are exploring one of the most groundbreaking stories in the history of medicine. How did HIV, a virus so deadly and pervasive, first make its way into humans? The story of HIV is not just a medical tale, but a complex journey of biology, ecology, and the intersection of human and animal worlds. So, how did this virus, which has affected millions, first make its way into humans? Let's find out. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is believed to have originated from a type of chimpanzee in Central Africa. The virus that infects chimpanzees is called simian immunodeficiency virus or SIV and it's quite similar to HIV. Scientists think that HIV was transmitted to humans through what's called zoonotic transfer. This means the virus jumped from chimpanzees to humans. But how? Most likely it was through blood-to-blood -blood contact, which could occur during hunting and butchering of chimpanzees. Once the virus made the leap into humans, it mutated into what we now recognize as HIV. The earliest known case of HIV in a human dates back to a blood sample collected in 1959 from a man in Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. From these humble and tragic beginnings, HIV spread across Africa and later to other parts of the world. Factors like urbanization, the growth of cities and increased travel played significant roles in the spread of the virus. What exactly is HIV and why is it so severe? HIV attacks the body's immune system, specifically the CD4 cells, which are a type of T cells crucial for immune response. As the virus destroys these cells, it weakens a person's immunity, leading to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. Now, how did HIV spread so widely before it was discovered? Well, HIV can remain hidden in the body for years, even decades, without causing symptoms. This stealthy nature allowed it to spread extensively before major outbreaks were noticed. So, in conclusion, HIV started as a virus in chimpanzees and crossed over to humans through close contact with infected blood. Over decades, it spread across the globe, facilitated by various human activities. And today, thanks to the relentless research and medical advancements, living with HIV is vastly different than it was in the past.